What's up YouTube peeps, it's Jeff and I'm back again for my favorite video of the week, Thirsty Thursday Beer Reviews. Hopefully you all are having a great Thirsty Thursday and getting your drink on. So this week I have, this is an extension on from the last two videos, last Thirsty Thursday and obviously now you know my Friday video because of Flannel Friday. But Harpoon I had a, it was a 12 pack of four different beers, I think I explained it in one of them. The fourth beer I'm just not even going to review because it's not my cup of tea. I drank them, but eh, I'm not a big fan of those 100-calorie beers. I think, well, that one was 120. But, I, again, to each of their own. If you like it, awesome. Uh, we could be friends, and you can drink those ones when I don't want to drink that one. Perfect. <laughs> so uh, the third one out of this one is the Harpoon IPA. The other ones, like I said, was the freaking amazing, the Flannel Friday Amber, Hoppy Amber. Side note, I went there earlier today to the grocery store that sold them. Out. They're out of it. They didn't even have that one alone. So I'm just like, seriously? Of course. This grocery store, every time I find something I love, they take it away from me. Stop ripping my heart out. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this one's the uh, Harpoon IPA. Happy balanced, crisp, 6% alcohol, 42 IPUs. On top here in the style of an English IPA with distinctly American hops, citrusy, citrusy, refreshing, and perfectly balanced. Uh, on the back, for 22 years, Harpoon has been the proud beer sponsor of the Pan Mass Challenge BMC, the largest athletic fundraising event in the country. Cheers to James Shear or our head of quality on his 18th BMC round. And cheers to all riders, volunteers, and donors uh, who fund life-saving cancer research and treatment after every year, year after year. So yeah, looks like it's going to be a good one. New England's original IPA, and there's the, probably not going to get the picture of the biker. Yeah, let's give it a pop open, uh, I think I said before, Boston Mass. And Windsor, Vermont is where they brew and bottle all this good stuff. Just not too, too far away from me. So let's give it a pour, give it a color look. This one's already getting a better head than the other two. I don't know what it was that Oktoberfest, I got like nothing out of it. The Hoppy Amber had a little bit more, and this one has good, you know, a little bit of, eh, right about finger for me. So, uh, ooh, it smells delicious. So, cheers. That's tasty. Super hoppy. Not like in your face hoppy, like a heady, but like just that perfect balance of hops, I would say. Um, I know the other ones they said what was in it. type of hops and whatnot. Doesn't look like this one has it. Definitely getting the citral, citrusy, typical taste. Yeah. Super tasty. Yeah. All three of these, I feel like, were solid beers. I'd, to have three out of like four beers be like way up there. I can't complain. Like I said, the fourth one wasn't bad. It's just, it wasn't my cup of tea. I, like I said, I still drank them. But it's not that I would want to review just because it's, it's just, it's watery for me. And it's not, it's not really packing that punch of flavor that I personally like. Maybe that's what your cup of tea is, then perfect. Or, you know, you're trying to watch calories or whatnot. Awesome. So, uh, you, you know, yeah, you can get that 100 calories and you can still get a pale ale type beer. I guess if I was watching calories, then awesome. But, um, yeah, I would, s ranking them, like I said, that Hoppy Amber was my top one for these three. The Oktoberfest, I would give, i give the slight edge to the Oktoberfest just because it's, again, personal prevalent preference I like the Oktoberfest and then this one's not too far behind that Oktoberfest like I said I probably would put them like 
if they weren't tied for second, this one would be just like, you know, that like photo finish of a race. The Oktoberfest, you know, just, just that little bit. But it's still super tasty. Definitely recommend these if you can find them. Um, this one, it was called, the 12 pack was called the Tailgating um, Harpoon. It just said tailgater or tailgating uh, pack. They had like a winter pack coming out now where I feel like I had a couple of these ones in there. I did not have my <laughs> Hoppy Amber one that I because I probably would have bought that one if I had the Hoppy Amber in it. But I think it had the wreck in there. The like I said, the hundred calorie one. I feel like that's just their staple one that goes into. I've seen because I've seen packs before where I was like, eh, I saw the. I've had the wreck before at least it's not bad it's just not for me but <laughs> i i just feel I, I don't like to badmouth good companies but like i said everyone has their preference on different flavors and that's the beauty of beer you know you might not like this one but you'll love this one like sours i i've found a couple of sours i don't mind but most of them are just like no but then there's other people that are like sours this is the best thing in the world and to you I say, awesome. That's one less sour that I'd have to drink. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, I would say, I think I, because I, I know I gave the Hoppy Amber 5. I think I gave the Oktoberfest like a mid 4. So this one would be, like I said, right in the same range as the Oktoberfest. Maybe just like a centimeter below the Oktoberfest. But still, three solid beers per... Like I said, on sale here it was fourteen ninety nine for the twelve pack. Can't really beat it for me. Um, yeah. So hopefully you guys are having a great Thursday Thursday, and I'll check back with you guys in the next video. See ya.